up guys? Today we're going to be painting my bumper with some uh, spray paint. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Spray paint, Zach. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, budget. As you can probably see, this bumper has seen way better days than, uh, than uh, it is now. So, we're going to be fixing all the problems, like the holes in it and all the cracks and uh, dents, whatnot. And uh, we're going to be spray painting it with some color match spray paint. Uh, some 2K clear coat, which is really good clear coat, by the way. And uh, it should come out pretty good, I'm hoping. But uh, we'll see what happens. So we're here in my uh, makeshift paint booth that I made in my basement. And uh, this is where we're going to be painting the bumper. First thing I'm going to do is take off all the grills, the lip, fog light, all the unnecessary stuff. I'm going to sand it with some really coarse sandpaper, get it smooth. And we'll get some Bondo so we can fill in the holes. And there's a hole under here too that's hidden cleverly. Once it's smooth, we'll uh, primer it, paint it, clear coat it, wet sand it. Polish it and it'll be done. So as you can see, I got the bumper stripped and uh you can really see how bad this thing is with these holes. Look at that. Disgusting. Especially under here. Driving a lowered car in Rhode Island. That's what it looks like. <laughs> really deep scratches. Um, these corners are completely destroyed. So, I'm going to get to work sanding. I'm gonna try to get it as smooth as I can. I don't know how it's gonna come out, but we'll see. So I just got done sanding with 220. Uh, 220 is a really hard grit, so I wouldn't recommend it unless you're you got major damage like I do. But uh, I'm just gonna wipe it down with some alcohol and we'll be ready to get some Bondo. And uh, I'm gonna put a thin layer over the entire thing since it's so dinged up everywhere. But uh, so far so good. That was a lot of sanding and uh, still got a lot left, so super fun. I just went to Lowe's and Pet Boys, got some stuff. I got a pad for sanding, a soft one. Uh, Bondo with some Bondo spreaders. Uh, 2,000, 1,500, and 600 grit sandpaper, wet or dry. Uh, tack cloths and a respirator and just some gloves. Right now I'm gonna mix up some Bondo and start spreading it on to the bumper. First things first. I'm gonna take a tack cloth, just hit the bumper with this real quick. You don't really have to do this, but I just want to be thorough since painting is mostly prep. So keep that in mind. Open niche. Nice. Okay. Break out my spatula thing. Key with uh, Bondo is to do thin layers. Don't do too thick or I'll, or I'll crack off and stuff. We're just going to be filling mostly small stuff, so hopefully it won't matter. Start off with kind of a small amount just to test it out, make sure it's good. That's a pretty small amount. Get your hardener, just do a small strip. That should be enough for that amount. Now you want to just knead it. You don't want to introduce air bubbles into it. Okay. 
That looks pretty Gucci. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. What do you guys think? Gucci gang. Nice and pink. So let's put it on the bumper. Okay, like I said before, thin layers. So here goes nothing. As I suspected, this is going to be pretty difficult to get all the little tiny dings. So, just got to work, work diligently, get them all filled in, and we'll be able to sand it smooth. Okay, I just got done with an initial application of Bondo. <clears throat> I am probably the worst person at putting Bondo ever, so don't take any advice from me. On putting it on but hopefully that does the job um, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna sand it with a block uh, and get it nice and smooth and see what it looks like after that update I just sanded all of the Bondo uh, definitely use way too much because uh, it took a lot to get it down but I had to do a little bit more right here because this is a pain in the ass spot but uh so far, so good, I think. At this point, I wish I'd just bought a new bumper, but whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm done sanding for now. Uh, now I'm gonna clean it off and do a light coat of primer just to see if it's uh, good to paint. It's got some dish soap and water and a towel. Okay, we're gonna do our first coat of primer. Been shaking this for like 10 minutes, and uh, we'll see how it comes out. Alright, <clears throat> it's a pretty decent first uh, first coat. I'm gonna let that dry for like 10 minutes and do another one. This can's already feeling light, so I might have to get more. I sanded down the first coat of primer and uh, went across it, uh, fixed some little stuff that I missed with some glazing and spot putty. This stuff is way easier than using Bondo, so I should have used that in the first place because Bondo sucks. And I had to get more primer, so I got this. 2-in-1 filler sandable primer, which is high build. So, using that, uh, should be able to... So this primer actually... This primer can actually fill small defects really well. So, as you might be able to see, this thing's looking awesome. These holes are completely gone. Thanks, Focus. Yeah, yeah, sure, no. It's okay. Yeah, look at this thing. Oh my god. Oh, I missed the spot there, but yeah. I'm going to do a couple more coats of primer. Wait 30 minutes. I don't even think I'm going to have to wet sand this. It's so smooth already. Yeah, so uh, I'm probably going to do the base coat after, after I'm done with this, which is exciting but also not because I don't know if it's gonna match right, so <laughs> we'll see. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes and I think I'm ready for the base coat. It's not perfect, but whatever. It's as close as I can get it. <sighs> Should've just bought a new bumper, but whatever. Who cares? I got this from Era ERA Paints A52 Space Gray. Hopefully it matches. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Get our tack cloth. We're gonna tack it down real quick. Make sure there's no dust on it. Okay, here we go.
That's the first coat. Just a light tack coat. I forgot to put on my respirator thingy. But uh, we'll wait 10 minutes and do the next one. Okay, on the coat too. Second coat is done. All right, so I'm done. I did uh, about four coats. This is how it looks so far. This color is actually, it looks like it matches like very, very well, which is pretty exciting. So, I just hit it with a tack cloth after I let it dry for 30 minutes. Now we're gonna hit it with some clear coat. I got some Spray Max 2K clear coat, and this stuff is pretty much professional grade stuff in a can it's as you can see it's two parts so you take this cap put it on the bottom pop it and then shake it up and it's almost professional clear coat in a can which is awesome so let's get into that take our red cap stick it on the bottom shake it up okay shook it up for about a minute now, uh, with clear coat, you want to spray it as uniformly as possible. So I'm going to start on the edges and work my way in. Fifty percent overlap. Pretty decent first coat, so we're gonna wait ten minutes and then we'll do another one. Second coat. Second coat is done. That can's already empty, so I have another can. Break that one open and uh, <laughs> do like maybe two more coats. I'll probably do two more. Just because it's the front bumper and I want it to be nice and thick. Okay, so I just finished the last coat, and uh, it's looking pretty decent. I'm just going to let this cure for 24 hours, and we'll be able to wet sand it and polish it. But uh, overall, very good finish for spray paint. I'm pretty impressed. It's looking so good until I hurt myself today to see if I still feel <laughs> it'll come out in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck.
There's the final product. It's not too bad, I guess. Wanna go fast? What's different? We're gonna turn the poost up. No, I mean like I feel like there's a lack of like it's missing something. Is it not? Yeah, those stupid fucking the uh little not really yeah, I feel like there was some kind of color. Yeah, it was white because it was so shitty, it was like sandblasted. It looks mid now. <laughs> Microphone attached to my head so I can dance my little heart.